Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another video. And in this one, we're gonna take a look at Bard Mobile 2.0 for iOS. This update was just released at the end of September. And the big thing it introduces and what we're going to focus on in this video is a new search feature, making it very easy to find new books to read. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'll go ahead and unlock my iPhone 12. 45 a.m. Okay, we're unlocked. And I will Safari. now launch my Bard mobile app. I'm actually make it quick. I'll just go to my two, second page. TV remote. Void Bard mobile. And here's Bard mobile. I will double tap. Bard mobile. Recently read. Button. Now it's brought me to the last book I had open which is airplay button beethoven the pastoral symphony heading actually a music appreciation item from the music catalog and it's on beethoven's pastoral symphony which is his sixth symphony a beautiful piece of music but no we want to focus on here so i'm going to go to the bottom of the screen tab bar selected now reading tab to get to the tab bar i found it and I'm going to go to the left twice. Settings, get books, tab, two of four. To get to get books, and I'll double tap. Get books, heading. Now, if you've been a user of the Bard mobile app for a while, really since it's been out in 2013, you'll remember that at the bottom of the get books screen, there was an option to browse the Bard website. Well, that's gone. And instead, we have a very nice search feature in its place. So let's go ahead and try it out. Search. And in fact, it's the first option. So we can go ahead and double tap on search. Search. Search field. And right away, we have a text box to put in a search. Dictate. Button. Go. Dimmed. Selected. Search by keyword. Button. And four. if we keep going to the right, as I just did, we have a few options. We can search by keyword, search by title, button, search by four. title, search by author, button, three or four, search by author, search by annotation, button, or four annotation. Four. Selected format audio, button, one and, and then two. we can pick our format. We can have audio, format braille, button, or braille. So select, let's search, do search, a title search. Go, dip, dictate, search, 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 dictate, go, dip, selected, search, search by title, button. Okay, two there's four. title. Selected, search by title. So Steve Jobs recently passed. So as a tribute. Let's search for his biography, the biography written about him. Dictate. Search. Search field. So I found the search field. I'll double tap that to activate it. And of course, the on-screen keyboard has popped up, or we could find on the keyboard search. Dictate button. the dictate button. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Now, I did a two-finger double tap to stop the dictation, and I'll find the bottom of the keyboard, Search. and there's search. I'll double tap. Steve Jobs. Isaacson, Walter. Total time, 21 hours, 3 minutes. And right away, we have the book we want, which is Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. So we've a few things we could do here. If we double tap it would bring up a prompt asking if we want to download the book. But if we flip down, there are actions available. More info. We can get more info. Download. We can download. Add to wish list. Add to wish list. All books by Isaacson, Walter. View all books by Walter Isaacson. All books and bestsellers. And we have all a bunch of categories. Bestsellers. All books and biography. Biography. All books and business and economics. Business and economics. All books and computers. Computers. Activate default. And we can just activate. More info. Download. Add to wish list. So let's Down say we want to get more info. I'll go up to more info. Steve Jobs. Narrator. Mark Delgado. Biograph. Isaac's son. Walt. Steve Jobs. Okay, there's... More actions. Details. Head. More. Steve Jobs. Okay, there's the title. Isaac's son. Walter. Biography of entrepreneur. Steve Jobs. One nine five five two zero one one. Chronicles his childhood, education, entry level jobs in California Silicon Valley. 1976 co-founding of Apple Computer in his parents' garage and leadership in spearheading the iPod, iPhone, and iPad. Discusses Jobs' personal and professional relationships and his 2003 cancer diagnosis. Some strong language. Bestseller. 2011. Sounds good. Narrator, Mark Delgado. Go, we can see that's read by Mark Delgado. Great narrator. 
Total time, 210300. And it's 21 hours long. Book number, DB73680. And we have the book number. Add to wishlist button. Now we could add it to the wish list. Download button. Or we could download it right from here. We'd like to download this, so I'll hit download. Downloading. And we'll know when it's done, because there will be a chime. This is a bit, this is a big book, so, oh, there it is. Red button. Oh, and right there now, it's replaced that download button with a read button. Book number, DB73682. But let's go back. Total so, narrator, Delgado, I have one hand, so let's actions, do a bit of explore actions, by touch. More actions, details, pet, search results, back button. And, okay, search here's result. back. Downloaded. Steve Jobs. And Isaac in the list, Walter. it says we have it downloaded. Now, of course, we could go on a bit more of a search, so let's more see. Info. Red. Do some actions. All books by Isaacson, Walter. And let's say we want to see what other books Walter Isaacson has written. Double tap after flicking down to find that action. Benjamin Franklin and American Life. Isaacson, Walter. Okay, so there's a book on, hours, on Benjamin Franklin. More info. Einstein, his life and universe. Isaacson, Walter. Einstein. Total, Kissinger, a biography. I, more at Leonardo da Vinci. More at Madison Park, a place of hope. More in downloaded. Steve Jobs, Morin, The Code Breaker, Jennifer Doudna, Morin, The Innovators, How Group of Hackers, Geniuses, and Geeks Created the Digital Revolution. Isaacson, Walter, okay, that Total sounds, 16 hours, 55 That sounds minutes. interesting. So, let's say we wanted to download that. Go ahead and More click info. down. Download. And double tap on download. And it's going. And it's done. And we can also add a book to our wish list. Down more info. The code breaker. More downloaded. More info. Madison Park. Of more Leonardo da Vinci. More Kissinger. More Einstein. His life and universe. Isaacson Walter. Let's say we want to read this hours, 40 minutes. book on Albert Einstein. If I flick down on it. More info. Download. Add to wish list. Can add it to the wish list. I'll double tap. And I assume. More info. Activate default. All books active. More info. Download. Delete from all books. Delete from wish list. Yep. Now it says delete from wish list. So it is there. More bank toolbar. Title. Button. Toolbar. Title and author. All books by Isaacson. Toolbar. Title and author. Search. Search field. There's a more of a search field. I guess you could narrow things down a bit there. All search results. Search results. Back we'll go back search to result. search results. Downloaded. Sort by latest, but sort by author, but sort by title, go, button, dictate, but Steve Jobs, search field. And there's our search. Search, 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 back. search, back button, search, search, search field, format rail, button, Oops. two, dictate, but search, search, get books, back button, get books. And search. back out of this screen, and that's a little bit of the search feature and how it works. We could also do... An author search. Let's search, see. Search field. Dictate. But go. Dimmed. Button. Selected. Search by. Search by author. Button. Selected. Search by author. Three of four. Search by annotation. Button. Selected. Search by author. Button. Three of four. Okay. So we've selected search by author. Let's say search, we want to get dictate, Alex search, Trebek's search book. Search, get books, back button. The answer is. So, search, search field. I'll find the search, search field, end. and I'll start dictating. Dictate Alex Trebek. Inserted Alex Trebek. I okay, am find search. 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 The answer is ellipsis. Reflections on my life. Trebek, Alex, 1940. Total time, 4 hours, 37 minutes. And there it is. Let's download it. More info. Download. I used a flick down to find download, and then I double tapped. And there it is. So that's a little demo of the search. Now we can verify if I go to the bookshelf. Tab bar. Now reading. Tab. Settings. Tab. So I went to the tab four. bar on the bottom. Now settings. Tab. Three and four. I'm going to swipe Selected. Get books. left, tab. Book left, bookshelf. Tab. to we find four. bookshelf. Bookshelf. Audiobooks, 25 items. I have 25 audiobooks here. 
So let's go ahead and double tap. Today, heading. The answer is ellipsis. Reflections on my life. And, Alex, and right away, it brought us to time, four hours, the answer is. More info. The innovators. How a group of hackers, geniuses, and geeks created the digital revolution. Isaacson, Walter. So let's say we want to read this. Of course, minutes, we're going to just double tap. The innovators. How a group of hackers, geniuses, and geeks created the digital revolution. Heading. And now on screen, we have all of our playback controls. I'll just put my hand kind of in the middle. Jump by chat. Play button. And move down a bit, and there's play. Double tap. The innovators. Stop button. Our group of hackers, geniuses, and geeks created the digital revolution. By Walter Isaacson. Nice. That's Mark Stop. Delgado as well. Play button. Cool. Now, you can also get to your recently read books, and you can either do that as a button on the top left, or you could do a three-finger swipe. Rewind button. But I'm going to do it jump, by finding the button, because I don't have... I only have one hand. Recently read button. But we can easily just switch books. Back button. Recently, the innovators, Beethoven, the Pastoral Symphony. So I'll reload this Beethoven Symphony book. One low note at the end of the first phrase can also be heard as the first note of the second. Entire size 13. Stop. Button. Stop. So... Play button. Of course, we have all the controls here. Sleep timer. Button. Sleep. We can set a sleep timer. Flip to the right. Bookmark. Bookmark. Button. Previous. Button. Previous. Jump. Jump. Button. Next. Button. Next. Rewind. Button. Rewind. Play. Button. Play. Fast forward. Pass forward. Button. Speed. Button. And speed control. Speed. One hot tab bar. Bookshelf. Tab. Get book set it selected. Now reading. Tab. Four to four. But that's pretty much it. I think that that search feature is a huge improvement over what was there previously. And I know for me, I am a big fan of the Victor Reader stream. It's actually still kind of is my preferred way to read, but I'm actually really starting to like the interface of Bard Mobile now. It's something I've actually been playing around with quite a bit more since 2.0 came out at the end of September. And of course, if you are someone like me that owns both an iPhone and a Victor Reader, using the Add to Wishlist function is a great way to, you know, you could use your iPhone to search for books. But then if you wanted to actually read them on your stream, you could just download them, add them to your wishlist on your iPhone, and they show up there on the stream and you can get them. So that's a way that you can use the best of both worlds, and it is something that I do. So that is a look at the new and improved search feature of Bard Mobile 2.0. For those in the US who use Bard, very nice interface. Now that's not a full like review and tutorial of Bard Mobile. If there's more interest on that, I would be happy to do that. But I did want to show this exciting new search functionality that was just added. So with that, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon.